A friendly conversation with Michelle. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about education and stress. Hi, my dear friend. It seems you're back for another conversation. And I'm glad to have you here. As you know by now, my name is Michelle, but you can just call me May. And for this episode, I have another guest. Can you please introduce yourself? Oh, yeah. Um, hi, my name is uh, Yuri, but I do go by my, my actual name is actually Kenneth. So, I mean, preferably call me Yuri. That would be easier to work with. And uh, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, happy to be here. Yeah, I'm so glad that you could be here with me today to have this beautiful conversation about stress um Mm -hmm. can you let our listener know that you're actually in college now yeah i'm i'm actually studying in a it course if anything um it's actually been very hectic honestly having uh projects on missions you may be like yeah i had a project i should do yesterday i had a project i'm gonna have like maybe two projects due this week so it's gonna be fun uh Hint, hint, not really, but you got to keep a positive mindset, right? So, yeah. yeah. We used to be able to talk a lot before, but ever since you graduated high school and continued studying in college, mm-hmm. we've talked less, but still, we're still very close. And I'm glad oh, that... Sure. Yeah, for sure. And I'm glad that we're still able to connect, even how hectic your schedule is. And I'm really, I mean... really grateful that you made some time for this podcast yeah i mean honestly like when you brought up the idea i was actually quite interested in the whole podcast and myself already like besides like i get doing like my own streams and stuff it, it, in, in any case that i that i won't want to like you know talk about it on your, your podcast but uh, yeah I mean, <laughs> I mean it's fine you can talk about it i mean it's no, a part no, no, of you it, yeah Okay, I guess in, in any case, hi. If you you know watching this and you don't know about my YouTube channel, that's fine. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. But I mostly stream a lot of random stuff. I would say mostly for ML content. Nowadays, I've been just doing whatever because of my, like I said, like uh, as Michelle said, uh, as I have a very hectic uh, schedule right now. So yeah. Yeah, you have been. I haven't seen you streamed for like two months. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I did one like yesterday though. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I slept early just for this episode. Oh no, 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 no don't, worry, don't worry about it. Like I, honestly, like my stream times are so random because it's dependent on my mood that like yeah. you could probably never catch it on time <laughs> if you were to be a normal person. Okay, so what have you been doing in college? Like, how do you handle the hectic schedule? What are the What are some things that you've been doing to keep yourself organized? Okay, so this is a lot of questions at once, but I will try and break it down. My bad. <laughs> no, no worries, no worries. I mean, it's like a typical thing. I mean, a lot of people like are very curious on how uh, others handle stress and you know different methods, right? So, for me personally. I don't. I wouldn't say I always used to good at handling stress because, as a perfectionist myself, like whenever the the the, the things don't turn out the way I like, or like when things feel like it's not good enough for myself, I tend to get very really demoralized and the stress just builds up more and more and more. But I mean, recently I've just learned to like, if I mess up something, I should like kind of understand that okay, it's fine to mess up. I think it's like we gotta just yes. let it go. We gotta just, you know, you get what I mean, right? You just gotta let it go. You just gotta. It's a pretty you know, great mindset if do, you think about it. Do better next time. Yeah. I mean, I learned this kind of in a harsh way in my life because my grades were like dependent on it. I'm like, oh no. But then recently, I was just like, it's fine. You know what? This this term, I know I'm not doing good. I'm no like sometimes you just know it's like a loss for something. Right? So you just know, okay, maybe I'm not doing too hot right now. It's fine. You know what? We're gonna move on in the next M and plan ahead and see what we can improve and work on, right? I know it's yeah. like your typical like advice, right? Because I mean, everybody gives like about the same advice, but I think one tip, I, uh, one pro tip to have uh, that I learned actually is more of uh, have good friends. Honestly, have amazing friends 
that you can like really rely on talk to or even like just chill with it, 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 it sometimes all you need to do is just have people be around you they don't need to give you advice on how to improve they just you can just do things with them and just talk or whatever right it's always yeah. the most fun part about it But yeah that's that's the great thing about having supportive friends um the thing the kind of healthy relationship where not only you can run for them for help but they can also run to you for help exactly you no know, it's exactly. a two way it's not just one way yep, and yep. and i'm in, and and i'm incredibly thankful that i have a, i have those friends in my life right now that i can run to and they can run to me you know true it's and true. It's true. Especially in college, I've heard a lot from college students that it's it's I wouldn't say it's a culture shock, but it's it definitely changes your mindset. It definitely changes the way you see life because it's harsher. It's so much harsher in college, oh, and true. it's just more difficult because at this point, the moment you step into college, it's when the professors like they don't they don't spoon feed you in information exactly. anymore. It's really mm. just up to how you. It's really A just up to your study habits, yeah, and mm. how you and how, cause, cause that's the thing about college. It really tests you, the kind of person you've built from elementary to high school. Mm-hmm. So, do you what? What's the most noticeable change you've noticed to yourself now from your high school? Guy, I mean identity, I guess. <laughs> <It's cool guy. laughs> uh, that's an odd way to put it. You can just call me. A, I'm. I still. I still identify as male. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just. Yeah. I, I don't. I didn't mean. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I know where you're coming from. I know where you're coming from. No yeah. worries, no worries. I mean, okay. So I mean, for me, the most not- noticeable change actually happened more recently. But if we have to call, okay, we're, we're gonna go in your context. So we're gonna say. From high school to now, so I would say I definitely matured a lot. I think I definitely like I would okay when I was high school. I'm mean, a high school student. I was always, like that depressed, edgy kid. Don't get me wrong, I haven't like completely changed, but there, there's still like a part of me that still is very edgy, as seen from my yeah you know, uh, possible names and actions by our dear ho- uh, host here. Who knows me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, for the most part, I think I've changed in a way that like I've gotten good friend. I I would say like I've gotten one one a uh, very special someone. I would say like a very special someone that woke me up that like said, hey, you know, I, I stop being depressed. I guess okay. Okay, to give context about this is like it's. It's a process in which takes a lot of like thinking. Like, I've always been thinking over the years, like, oh, why am I sad? Like, what what's causing this stress that's building up on me? And then I sometimes see myself explode. Like, I really like am childish at times. Like, I'm really explodey. Like, I, I I sometimes refuse to break down because of my like how I was taught as a younger. Trust me, parenting is a very yeah. important part of your childhood. If you have Yeah, really, definitely. It impacts you. you. Really, it impacts yeah. the person that you are today. Correct, correct, correct. If you have a really bad childhood, I can understand the reasons for actions. However, just because I understand it doesn't mean you should act that certain way. Is it? Just yeah. you can understand someone doesn't mean that you. It's always the phrase that goes on my mind. Just because you can do it doesn't mean you get a pass to do it. You know. Yeah. Like, You can't just so okay. I'm a rebellious teen, so I'll just be a rebellious teen because I'm. I was taught like that. That is not the mindset you should be going into. You should be going into the mindset of, hey, I used to be like that, but I don't wish to be like that because at the end of the day, you need to understand what hurts you, and because what hurts you always indirectly hurts others. Yeah. It's a fun fact. <laughs> yeah, it's not a decision if you want to have depression or not, but it's in your decision mm-hmm. if you want to stay in that mindset or not. And I know it's very difficult. It's a very sensitive topic. So for you, you brought it up. Say, yeah, yeah. A lot of people say get seek help or talk to someone. Okay, I'm be really. But it's very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult, yeah. and it's so scary to be in that place. Mm-hmm. And nowadays, a lot of people, a lot of people say they're depressed as because it's trendy, but it's not a trend. Mental sometimes, illnesses is serious. Yeah. yeah. Some sometimes you see depression as a temporary sadness, and you don't understand it. And I can get why. If you're young, if you're in younger audience watching this, 
don't worry too much about that one because this is something I would say happens during maybe your you you start to see it when you're like ter- like at least teenage years lah. Right? Um, I mean, it's not just teenagers. More... It, 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 uh, depression can hit at any age. Oh no no no! Depression can hit at any age, but I'm just saying that you won't see it till then. You see what I mean? Like you won't yeah. have that cognition yeah. to like have process like oh. This is one Unless you've so got no like point. a responsible like, adult, yeah, you know, correct, that would correct, guide yeah. you. That it is very true. You, because the 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 figure that you are and I do and everything really matters a lot because they are the ones that will at least teach you that hey, you're not actually going through something. You're going through something really tough right now, and you. And it's very stressful. To, it's very yeah. stressful because I mean when you when you're not aware of what your mental illness is, you're you're mm-hmm. constantly questioning yourself. What's wrong? You know. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and, and, and you're trying, one. you're trying to find an answer, but you can't. But it's so difficult to find an answer. Correct, correct. Especially yes. when you're coming from a bad childhood. Hmm. 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 Random thing is one. Um, friends is also another aspect. But if let's say you have either options out, I know a lot of people like that. That's what I'm giving you the third option. This one is a personal impromptu. Don't hold my work to it. This is also a lot of how you view the world. Okay, you view the world mostly influenced by others. But if you're the type like me who don't care, <laughs> in reality, I really <laughs> was a social outcast in my teenage, more more teenage、uh, years, my high school years. I was a really outcast by the end of like my second year. Wait, and、I、can I just like、this. mention how? No, can I mention like my high? Okay, I give can I give like a brief summary of my high school years and like okay, what age like. I would consider like、uh, our country considers it because it's a bit confusing. I don't, I don't want to like freak anyone out. You know? Just give them a bit of context. <laughs>、mm-hmm. Okay, so with Singapore, right?、Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna mention it. I don't really care if you find me in Singapore. That would be cool if you did. If anything, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but、uh, in Singapore,、um, the way it works is you have this thing called secondary school, which is between the age of thirteen to sixteen, seventeen. If you yeah, I think I know、years. this. I've heard this、yeah. from a few of my Singaporean friends. Yes, 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 yes. It should be quite common, but we have this this thing which oh, you know, is it poly? Ah,、uh, poly, poly is after a、uh, polytechnic、oh, okay. is after the high school year. So, ah,、uh, after you finish high school, you have three different routes. So you have high,、uh, mm-hmm. you have polytechnic, you have a ah,、uh, you have ITE or like, and then you have the ah,、uh, called again. The I forgot the last one for some reason, but like I I JC yeah junior college right. So、mm-hmm. basically the three of them are the same if you put it. It's just that the different education levels that you receive is much differ. I mean that one will be a whole different segment, but I don't wish to talk about it since that's not what I'm trying to explain here. I don't want to go on a tangent. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but but、uh, basically during that age, I would say around fourteen, fifteen, which like. Second to third year, I started to like kind of. I, I was actually interested in a girl. Yes, I was simping. Haha, <laughs> funny.、Uh, but then, <laughs> then I, I was a social outcast actually since like when I was like eight, ten, eleven or something. Like I, I had a tragic past, whatever. Right, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying like, okay, it doesn't matter. Sorry, let me rephrase that. It does matter. But、yeah. I'm saying that it shouldn't impact. It, it while it impacts you a lot, you need to like learn to like adapt and. Point, as I say, but、uh, during my fourteen or fifteen, I started to be like, okay, I did, I, I,、uh, the girl actually had a boyfriend. I didn't know about this at that time. I was like, oh, so I stopped pursuing the girl. But then I was still in the group of friends, and then I, and then I was like realizing, oh, I'm actually not having fun anymore. Like I actually feel like I'm going back to like how I was a few years back again. I was like, you know. This is gonna happen again, and I suspect that was gonna happen because everyone's gonna judge me and yada yada、yeah. since my students debut. So I became more depressed, but also at the same time I like start to realize at some point it like that things. Did you ha- actually not- seek help? Oh, during that time, no, I wouldn't say I did because I got help during my pre-、uh, primary school, which is like. Seven to twelve, the age that that age range, but I got help at like ten, ten years old. Okay, that's. I didn't really、right. do much. Yeah, the, the problem because I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't do much. 
you can't expect man it's i was 10 like it was only a ripe age where you understand what's going on but also understand like <laughs> it's no way it's gonna help yeah. but because of that like it, it demotivated me to help them and to seek more help out. but but i was on like tripling the press okay? like i was just a little bit more but i then man i was blessed i was, I was really blessed with a very good a very good group of friends that I am actually still friends with some of some of them until now actually I, I, I'm very happy and I'm also I've got a new group of friends now that I'm also very happy I hang out with so like if anything I would say I have a lot of people that I've been blessed with and I'm thankful for for sure like I'm very grateful for them yeah, I mean even the whole year I'm sure you let them hmm. know that you appreciate them I let them know so often they keep saying you say that every time Okay, that's great. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> it it became more of an annoyance. <laughs> are you are you are you studying the same college as them? Uh, some of them yes, some of them no. But I still keep in contact. Even the one where I was friends with around ten to eleven, the, I have one friend and one friend, uh, one best friend. Right? He's also a streamer. Funnily enough, I know too many. Oh, streams, that's great. He's also a streamer on Twitch. Um, and he has reached 500 followers, which is insane for him. And I find it insane, so I'm happy for him, right? Yeah, um, but, that's, that's uh, great for him. Yeah, yeah, he's been doing well, and I guess I, I there was one point I got really depressed. So I, wait, okay, I'm going too many topics. Let me focus on my main topic first. Then I can, you know, my friends like yeah. So I began social outcast as per usual. I just didn't bother. Okay, that mindset of a social outcast like broke within me and then I was like yeah. okay you know what sure let's just, let's just go I, I don't care about the views anymore the images like I don't like putting on a show for other people I used to be like a people pleaser and I still am but like I just choose more now I'm more selective because of how mature I've grown up or due to expenses and stuff yeah also I, so, I have, I have also yeah. discussed this in my previous episode how much of a pe- mm. people pleaser I used to be I mean, I still am. That it's a difficult, it's a difficult mold to break away from yeah, because you just, it, that's what you, you know, grow up with that mindset. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. But like, I would say actually for my case, right, I just kind of learned to be more selective. I don't know about you. Do you, what do you find mean, yourself? Like, like okay it's choosing the right people to please over pleasing people. yeah of That's course I mean there's still I mean I wouldn't say we should it's not I mean we're not obligated to please anyone mm-hmm. honestly but mm-hmm. but we are obligated to once we commit to having this kind of friendship we're obligated to we're well not take care but support you know yeah yeah we're so, I, I, once yeah, okay. Because that's what friends are. We're supposed to support each other. But Not if you're either. gonna start complaining about the friendship that you have, you're also obligated to leave. You know, mm-hmm, instead of mm-hmm. because when you're when you when you start talking bad about your friend, then that's not friendship. I mean, and, yeah, that's, and that's I know true. how much of and I know a lot of mindset nowadays is. Oh, a lot of friends nowadays are. I don't so... have friends, or I'm. I find myself more lonely, or like you know, just yeah. like toxic behavior a... in your friend. Yeah, but there, but there's a lot of people reaching out to you, but you're not reaching back out to That's them. Correct. That's correct. Yeah. I used to have that mindset, and I really dislike that toxic trait of mine. And I'm so glad That's... that I'm able to, I'm I'm able to break free, from it. Like yeah, and besides sure. it. He... Uh, having a lot of great friends is difficult to maintain. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's nothing I mean, wrong with having a lot of great friends, a big circle. If you're so, if you're a social butterfly. I mean, but depends if, on your personality, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, but 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 if you're like me, um, I can, uh, I my social energy is very limited. <laughs> it runs yeah. out fans. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just runs out so quickly. Talking to anyone, honestly, would if for like people like me or maybe even the uh, uh, wait, can I address you as me? Is that fun? Or... Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know but... what? I I just find it very hard to like talk about the, the name. But yeah, it, yeah. Finding it, to find a right balance to like be with your friends and be be have your alone time is also another stress factor. Sure. Yeah, because because nowadays I've been learning to be alone. I've been learning to embrace the idea That's of soft. being alone. 
because I used to be so scared of being alone that I would rather be in a group yep. of people and feel lonely. Yeah, that's yeah, how yeah, scared yeah. I was. And now, yeah. I, now I yeah. just choose to if if I'm gonna be with a group of people that doesn't value me. I mean, that doesn't Then, value me or like, you know, care about me and make me feel lonely. I'd rather walk away from that from that mm-hmm. social circle and then use that time to be alone and have some self-reflection because sometimes being alone is great correct 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 that and when you yeah that's yeah that's the mindset that i want that i mm-hmm. want to implement i mean i'm still not i'm still not that great at it there's still no one's perfect scared. i mean yeah i mean growth I mean, isn't linear yep You're growing every day. Actually, it doesn't matter. Like if you see the changes, uh, sooner or later, doing by doing anything different, right? You actually see something change at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah, and that's that's a, actually a great thing for you to say because a lot of people are so eager to see the results of their change. Like they want to see it like three days after. That it doesn't work that way. Results you don't never grow. Happen overnight, yeah. yeah, they don't. It takes time. And when you take the time to actually take a step back and self-reflect and see yourself, you're growing, you know, mm-hmm. because you are proving that you are better than the person you were yesterday, and that's great. Right. Yep, I think it, at the end of the day, I mean, I used to be a person of self-loathing. I even would say, <laughs> go to an extent to say that oh I did. Oh my god! Oh, trust me, I, I, I it I'm was such a big self-loather too. I think it's more of like you don't okay for me I I never I I don't think I'll ever accept my like not okay so for me right since I have a huge like dislike to myself and like I hate I always like pin blame on myself and stuff you know like self loathing is a very typical issue because you always put stress on yourself instead of others as the whole topic of today's uh, podcast I would say. Is that most of the time stress can? I uh, we're gonna touch over. I think a very of stress. I don't think school stress is just one thing. There's a lot of different methods of stress, and I'm I'm gonna try to give you guys like a little bit of like how I pull through because certain methods work in certain ways, and sadly the real advice that a lot of people tend to give, and you may sound a little repetitive, is that stress coping is always dependent on how your system or how your mindset works it's never dependent on like oh there's a one size fit all it never works that way right yeah, so for, definitely for me wise i mean for me wise like i i find that my self loathing came from the source of like i wasn't doing good enough it was my perfectionist from like i was the personality i was born with i mean It came from the fact that I felt that I was whatever I did was always wrong. I always felt that like I was always doing things that felt harm to people. In reality, they don't actually do any harm. They, they, in reality, like my friends, instead I find it fine or anything, and I, I always like doubt myself. Be like I don't think they're fine. In my case, it's you, kind of do you still like, doubt yourself occasionally, but like I mean, you can't really not doubt yourself. <laughs> I mean, I mean, from the mindset, like as compared to before, do you still no, doubt I mean, yourself, no, or do you actually go for the things that you're passionate about now, without you know, without thinking that you're gonna, well, you you still have that thoughts of that your the possibility of failing, but do you still have the possibility that you the thinking of you can't do it? I I mean I think it's more of a split fifty fifty for now because for me right now I mean there are things that I guess I'm passionate in but there are a lot of things I just find very bland. This is coming also with personality. Like I don't find a lot of things that I like. Uh, I I very I rarely find interest in people, much less things I like to do. So it's something that I'm trying to seek out and see what is. Fit for me. What career should I be aiming for besides the current studies course that I'm in? Like, is it really the career path I want? Like, hundred percent taken. Because for now, I think it's okay. But like, and again, I I'm just trying to get like a decent job kind of thing. So you know, I don't really have a lot of aspiration and dreams. Like some of y'all may have. And please, if you guys have dreams, please cherish them, even if it may not I work out right them. now. Yeah. Pursue. Okay. Pr- okay. Because you're gonna okay. regret it in the long run when you when you don't. 
aim I wouldn't for it. say okay I wouldn't say like pursue them but like like blind okay you need to pursue them in a strategic manner don't just be like okay I'm yeah. gonna just be an artist like play you know I'm just gonna draw I, am I drawing you need to work hard on it you need to put a lot of effort on it no working hard is one thing right but you need connections that's another thing actually you, you really need a lot of a decent chunk of human interaction because you need to at least be competent enough you know, like you know to be able to like get along with others if if you're pursuing like a specific passion that you find that's a uh, very hard it, it's definitely what would your be... advice be in college oh, in college no mm. yeah i mean in college because it's much more difficult to actually start working on your dreams when you're in college <laughs> yeah be- yeah because you have this freedom when you have that freedom it means that you have less guidance because mm-hmm. now you're on your own right correct i would say plan your time Honestly, this is the one thing I will advise a million times over. Plan your time well, because if you can plan your time well, you can know what area, what what days uh, you can start like see. You can start diverging and be interested in your passion. Like some days, like, let's say I'm interested in art, for example. So maybe Monday I'll be doing my schoolwork. Tuesday, if I'm not if I'm not doing anything yeah. that day, I It's can maybe do some great, art. You know, this is great advice. Like, I know a lot of people always say this, and like people are like, oh, plan your time, uh, haha, funny basic thing. But like, when people stress it, you won't. Okay, here's the thing. I don't think people understand how important it is to plan out kind of like roughly what your day is, and I understand that. Like, I I'm not a good because time there's planner. a lot of. Impulsive decisions that we yes. make as well. Yes, uh, you need so we very can... strong discipline. Mm, yeah, it takes a lot of self-control and, mm-hmm. yeah, as you mentioned, discipline. Yes, yes, yes. Because this is one thing I'm working on now. I mean, I, since I knew my time planning was very bad at like this semester, I would say next semester I really gone in a mindset of like a schedule day or like which day I'm going to study, which day I'm going to do what, which day I'm going to do this, which day I'm going to do what. So that way it gives you I mean, I've come a long way, but like I also have to owe it to like that one special friend and that actually like once again, you know, like without that yeah. without them, I would say that it would be very hard to get to wake up from like oh, I I just would be depressed, you know, like I honestly that mindset, it, it, yeah, the that kind of mindset. I wouldn't say it's mindset. I think it's like a. This is something I don't know if people... attitude. I guess. No, no, no. This, this is something gonna be a little bit. I think more specific already because for me, wise, I felt that depression honestly was uh, a part of me. Okay, I, I, I don't know if is. I don't think this is too sensitive because I'm not gonna mention anything for the net. But like, I just felt that it was comforting to be there because it felt like. Yeah, I think I had a bit saying... of I, I think it's like a more of identity crisis because it felt like without that, right? Without that depression, who are you? Uh, kind of thing. Yeah, I've seen people actually say that. Like yeah, without it, that it, it, mental illness, what kind of person oh. are you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And and honestly, like sometimes you slump back. No matter what, how far you climb, you will always slump back to it. However. It's more of a question of how fast you can get out, or what methods you can stop to prevent yourself to regress to that stage. You see, I'm not gonna tell you, oh, depression's gone. Hey, no, no, no. Depression sticks with you for the rest of life. It, 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 it's a, it's a thing that it's gonna be the case. But that may sound daunting. I'm not. But here's the thing: there are a lot of ways to solve it, and it's all dependent on how you yourself view the world. Because I can tell you the one thing: if you take out stress factor. You're not gonna be depressed. You'll be a lot less depressed. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of stigma surrounding that mental illness. If you think about it, and it's yep. not a matter. It's not a matter of how long have you been in there. Like, there's no measurements. There's no worse in that context. Nobody has it worse. Nobody has it better. Correct. Correct. I mean, correct. we so need to stop disregarding you. our own feelings. By saying, "Oh, someone has it worse," but that doesn't mean your problem doesn't exist, right? You need to not feel that if people are invalidating your your emotions, honestly, don't don't let that don't don't let that like people invalidate you. Because you, instead, right, you should actually be. If people are invalidating your emotions, you I think you just leave because it's not it's something you need to realize that your emotions matter. 
these things matter to me. I don't know how many times I had a mental breakdown because of a s- uh, stress from school. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> it was so much, especially general. especially when you're in high school and you're still trying to figure out who you are, what you want, what you need, what you and what's your that, college right. plans. Yeah, yeah, and not only that, right? you're always trying to aim for a, a great, a good grade. You know? Yeah, and the thing is, in the Philippines, you take like eight to twelve subjects. If you're coming from a school from where I go, which is, which is a very goddamn hard type of honestly, high school. Yeah, honestly, you guys, but not even this. I, I honestly find that like even Singapore here, like a lot of people honestly take more stressful subjects, and I'm like, you guys are, you know, insane. I I applaud yeah, you so- for going through it. <laughs> <laughs> And I wish I could I could have chosen what classes I could take because it's a really helpful thing because that's more likely to help you determine mm-hmm. what you want for your future. And I want so that. True. I really do. I mean, no, I can't. Again, I have to take mandatory classes that I'm not even interested in. Okay, in certain classes defense that are mandatory, I I, I don't get me wrong. I mean, I also have taken mand- I, I have a lot of mandatory classes that I refuse. And wish that they never had touched it because it made no sense relation to any of the things I'm I'm going to be studying in the future or you know. Yeah. But but in the, in their defense, um, I can sort of see why because it's so one to help. They're helping with, those like, who have no idea. Yeah, yeah. And and another thing is actually like anything you learn from all these different classes actually do add up like to uh, like they actually do add up to like how you think and like. How you perceive you, you become a little bit more aware. Like I, I don't know how to explain it, but like whatever skill sets you learn from other classes can that may not relate to the course can be applied into that course or in the future that that like may somehow have relation with the course. You know, let's say you're studying art, right? It, 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 let's say you you end up having a course to do with business or something, right? Then that class may not seem useful now, but in the future you'll be much more thankful that. Oh, thank God! I actually took like uh, certain memory classes, but not all. I would say is useful. Don't get me wrong, not all. <laughs> yeah, it's just some. But what about those who have already figured out what they want to do? Honestly, those I just want to say, you guys are some very passionate people, and I envy you to death. But. Okay, but uh, for those who I think figured out, then I can see why it might not be helpful. But once again, I think it's still fine to take certain men, certain manager classes. I think it's still it's fine. It's so hard when you're failing. Uh, no, because I mean failing those... the grade. The grades, yeah, it affects you a lot. Honestly, I'm not gonna say that it doesn't, right? But you like, know, you, you need to understand it. Also, kind of kills a passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. It definitely does. But I just see it for more of a long run potential because you may never know the skill sets you might need, right? I don't. Okay, here's the thing. For me, on, let's, let's, classes, let's... okay, wait, wait, wait. for me in the many classes part, right? I honestly want to say is that they shouldn't grade it. That's that's kind of what I'm trying to get here. Points here, like. Not every mandatory class is going to be useful. That's one, and many classes shouldn't always be graded. That way, even if you so-called fail, there's you no, know, there's no like, you know. Yeah. Like for here, for us here, right? We have certain subjects that are just pass and fail. So like literally, right? You you're meant to like actually pass the subject. It's just that we want you to take it, so that you can improve, like learn more and improve on yourself, kind of thing. You also yes. need to understand that a lot of students who don't use math, we don't even use a lot of the things that we learn in mathematics. You know, the difficult ones in real life. No, no, yes, I understand that. Even I've gone through that. I've taken very difficult math uh, and everything, uh, and I completely understand that you may never use them in your life, which is why even the school system is very not perfect they even teachers I've spoken to teachers about it they have told me that you know, honestly some of these you may never need to use them ever again just get through it and study and never touch it ever again I think the, the, the only takeaway from this is 
it helps you create a mindset of how you study mm. you know a study habits mm. yeah you might not like it but you need to understand that there's gonna when you get into the working field there's gonna be a lot of things that you're gonna have so to do that you don't things, like right. so now it depends on how you deal with it are you still gonna the, do a good yes, job yes. even if you don't like it i yeah, think yeah, that's yeah. the thing that's that's the thing about the education now it's not a matter if you're learning it it's just a matter of how you're trying to cope with it how well, how you're trying to build yourself around the situations or circumstances that the school gives you mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i think it's also another important so thing I, i can't i can't really say it's helpful if they just straight away tell us this from the start to me maybe we would have more of a good relationship between a I student and a... you know school mm, i would say this is more of a tough subject because you cannot hit a white because at the end of the day it's more a majority right you can't hit every single student and you can't just you know it's just whatever feedback they gather from like majority of students okay this is what majority of students wants or something I don't know I don't know if your, your school has like feedbacks but my school does so you know they're like oh uh, what the teacher can improve what subject can be done what blah 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 this is all feedbacks and I don't know how much they listen to it or like I also don't know this because majority of students could say this say completely different things so it's always majority based right so once again it's flawed and I just want to as what uh, me said earlier just, just take away from like being able to do whatever you can even if you don't like it right the other thing is also you need to understand is that you as I was mentioning earlier it's just more of future skill sets that you may learn it's like a fun thing that Sometimes you may not find it helpful, sure, but like sometimes they come in clutch and you wouldn't notice it until you'd be like, oh, this is actually surprisingly <laughs> helpful. Yeah, I'm I guess so. That you should, I'm not saying that you should study like 20 different subjects, but yeah. I'm just saying... That those extra classes there, could save you. Yeah, if you're there, might as well just do it, right? I mean, okay, you don't like it, I understand, just try your best, you know? try our best mm-hmm. and do whatever you can these are things we cannot change the only advice I can like really give you is do your best freaking out over it is fine but you need to find a coping mechanism I mean a lot of people balance say, a balance yeah balance correct a balance is very important a lot of people have done drawing for example writing for example I like writing writing is fun sometimes yeah, it is but I write for myself so it's a different story um photography was also fun for me i i like being able to go out take pictures look at them and view them like oh that's cool there's all different methods honestly anything you haven't tried just try it i know mm-hmm. some of you are gonna be like me it took like 20 years to figure it out because i was a stubborn person i was a very very stubborn person thanks to my genetics i'm stubborn mm-hmm. as well <laughs> i'm I, i'm extremely stubborn if anything comes on to it but give it a shot honestly like I know yeah. I'm just saying the same repeated advice but in this scenario it's really just give it a shot just see what you can do you know mm. if it works it works if it doesn't then it doesn't move on it's fine yeah <laughs> that's it yeah you can stay stuck in the past you know just don't let yourself be trapped in the past right? yeah memories one thing you need to understand if let's say you're going you, you have a very bad memory and that's the stress right now okay mm then my one another tip to give I have a lot of tips to give because there's a lot of things I went through I think I went through like probably one of the worst like episodes of like stress throughout my whole life so like I have a lot of like different phases so for phases where you're like trapped with your memories right one thing you need to understand is don't let the past hold you down instead like you can you can laugh and enjoy the memories in the past and especially I like recording videos so I always have video footage of my, me and my friends doing really dumb things I always sometimes play them back and smile and laugh at them because it's a very precious memory of mine but sometimes it also can be a double-edged sword in which it becomes something and be like oh I know I'll never get these kind of friends again because of like something happened for example like, well the mindset that you, know. you could have is yeah, I'm thankful yeah. that you met them you know I'm thankful yeah, yes correct What matters? Yeah, you may you may not have you may not be able to find someone similar to them, but mm-hmm. you could always be thankful that you were able to meet them. Yep. You know, like what I are mean, the chances? Yeah, and like people people are feel free to walk out of your life, and you are also feel you also need to feel free to walk out of very toxic. Anybody's life. life, yeah. 
cool. I feel like I'm a co-host at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could if you want to. I don't mind popping on whenever just just interviewing random people. It's a fun thing. Honestly, <laughs> I find I, I find podcasts really fun because you can just talk about pretty anything. much yeah anything. Honestly, and I think like. What makes me here like a very positive podcast is amazing. It's an amazing work done. Oh, thank you. No, And I really me, appreciate just... your support. I uh, really appreciate your support. I, I'll, I'll, like before hit... I launched this podcast, you were already there cheering for me, and I, I'm really grateful for that. <laughs> I mean, hit me up whenever, man. Let me know, man. I'm, I'm free to yeah. like. Goodbye. But you've got a lot of projects right now, so. <laughs> oh really? I think I'm. I'm actually ending off the semester soon. Uh, Oh, that's, that's great. Said, that, I mean, that's about... exactly why I said that. Okay, that's great. That's great. Wait, what, what are you? I'm saying? gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be entering my senior year of high school by oh, September. Gonna... I'm gonna be yeah. on break by September. <laughs> oh, I mean, I can still make time, I think, but I'm gonna be busy studying. No, I mean that's true. I mean, focus on study. That's one thing. Kids uh, or adults or whatever, whoever's watching this video, study. To... Study. actually trying to like implement a stronger st- st- study habit because i used to be a huge procrastinator and i'm still a huge mind you procrastinating gives you a lot of stress oh trust me it's the biggest stress big stress that's why as much as possible when you have time do it i think it's more stressful in the scenario that like your friends are doing work and you're not doing it, it it's always yeah. like pure pressure mentality I, I, as well it, it, It's not peer pressure, but it makes you conscious. Yeah, you're like, yeah. You're like, oh my, oh my god, god, they're doing something, doing and you're not. So I'm gonna do something as well. <laughs> yeah, but then like you feel like you're not gonna do anything. Because one thing I've learned is that throughout my semester, actually, is like some lessons. Honestly, I feel like I'm just wasting time instead. Like I should, I could like do something else. And this, this is a little bit not not something you should learn. I think, but like personal experience is that some lessons I do sleep. Because I just don't <laughs> find it good enough for like for me to like be like yeah you know this is because stress uh, over ho- something that you could just yeah. do tomorrow. No, no, I wouldn't say do tomorrow. It's just like since for my classes, I mean, since it's always learning, I can there's a video recording, so I could oh, watch yeah. it later. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a that's a very fine line not you're walking. Safe, <laughs> not not a safe method. I'm just yeah, not a there. safe method. Definitely not. But, but but as much as possible don't be afraid to try don't be yeah, afraid to try yeah i mean i just want to say but, but i mean, i just want to say as well that you need to as much as possible even if you have a re- video recording of your previous lessons don't speak through all your classes that's not what i'm trying to say don't rely on them like don't yeah, rely yeah. on them but when you can study it now and learn now do it and then use those past recordings as just a guide when you're studying by yourself like you know during self study that That's one way of studying, but I think another way of studying. And this is something that a lot of people would never encourage, but I think should at least be known about is that if you find that the current study method, like how you're studying in school, is not effective, like how you wake up in the morning, your brain isn't thinking, it's not effective, right? Yeah. If you can do try and get some rest. I know people have very weird sleep schedules. Oh yeah, it's definitely okay to take men- some rest. Yeah. In class, I mean. The way. Let me finish. Okay, it's gonna sound very bad. But... <laughs> wait, wait. It's gonna sound very bad, but but sometimes in your classes, if you really find it very hard to concentrate, right? Don't force yourself to, because the information you get at the end has no point. You're not gonna review them because you'll be like, ah, yeah, I know this, quote unquote. But you don't because nothing goes in your brain at that point. Get some rest. And then when make sure, however, you have to promise yourself this. This methods only work if you promise yourself one hundred and ten percent. You will study later. You will do yeah. it later. You you, mm-hmm. you you need to watch back the footage. You need to understand. Because it's what's so going on. it's we're, nowadays we're so easily burned out, and yes. I guess we need to emphasize Planning. that. Sometimes resting isn't just through sleeping. It also it can be through meditating or mm-hmm. you know having some alone time. Just anything that could help you relieve that that tiredness that you feel, you know. I mean, I can say this podcast has gone long enough, so we're not going to talk about the specific methods. Mm. But do seek whatever method you find effective, as long yeah. as you're not harming anyone. Just don't harm anyone or yourself. Yeah. Those those two things you keep that in mind. Do whatever you want, and you will probably find a way to to to, to just. 
you know, bam, be like, I'm coping with it again. I mean, as you mentioned earlier, this one, this this last segment is gonna mostly be about social stress, in which, well, you know, as we mentioned earlier, like peer pressure is like a big thing. You know? Honestly, I mean, you see your friends doing, like, oh no, I'm, I'm not doing anything. Then you do it, and then you realize you're not doing anything effective, and it's pointless. Right? It just becomes like a pointless thing to do. So why are you doing it, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Everything you do, you must think of a reason in your head. Don't blindly follow others just because they're studying, and then you study. It's not gonna help you if you don't find anything effective in that in that specific time frame. Get adequate rest. Find yourself a balance on how to be alone. And honestly, if people talk bad about you, people say, "Why are you not studying?" You shouldn't, Asian parents, you shouldn't care. Asian parents like t- saying that you're always playing games because they only see that side of you. Take it with a grain of salt. They don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Or they don't. They might not even care about your results. They just know that you're in this school, right? Some, some, yeah. a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people care about results. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying some of them. While the, the ones that don't, take it with a grain of salt. Honestly, they, re- they really don't know what's going on in the back of your mind, like, right? Mm-hmm. That's such they can a only great advice. See, they can only see what you they they see, what, and then they always say a bunch of things about you. But please. They give a grain of salt. They just caring. They are just caring for you. But if it pisses you off in that moment, don't think about it so much. Don't don't bother about it. Focus on whatever you want. Because at the end of the day, it can bug you, but don't let it control you. Please. Yeah, don't let it eat you from the inside. Because People everyone... say things mindlessly. Yeah, definitely. You just need to understand, like harsh words are easily said than kinder words. And that's Asian parents want to watch. You know, one of the things that one of my favorite quotes was from this book, uh, The Diary oh, of Anne Frank. Free to share. Uh, oh. There's a quote that says, People give you flowers when you're dead because regret is so much greater than gratitude. So true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's very true. Your parents like, won't people, you, people but... would rather regret than be grateful. And, uh, that's why as much I as mean, possible nowadays I try to make sure that everyone in my life knows that they're very much appreciated by me appreciation is one thing for sure I mean it, 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 I'm gonna use a little pun here I cannot stress this enough that uh, uh, you, you really need to appreciate the people around you and at the, end, one, at the end of the day I mean like pure pressure coming in from either your teachers your parents or your friends Take always take care of the grain so they don't know what's going on if, if they knew, they would empathize, but sometimes that's not what you want, right? And that's fine. I mean, you know, just, just make sure you yourself are what you're doing at the end of the day. Don't always let others dictate what you do. Because yes. if that's the case, then you're nothing but a puppet <laughs> at that point. Mm-hmm. I, I, Thank I mean, you. Yeah. Thank you for all uh, these words, this advice that you've given not only me, but to my dear friend our listener I mean, so. I'd love to give more advice if anything um, if you guys have anything you would like to ask maybe specific more spe- I can't help on every question I don't think me can as well but we will try our best to help you as much as we can on this podcast as well if you have any mm-hmm. questions yes you no know, leave it in the comment section <laughs> below I mean I'm a co-host now right guys I'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mm. Mm. <laughs> thank Wait, you for listening. Yeah, this is the outro. Oh. Bye. <laughs> this is so stuff. I mean, like, you want to do that? No, no. This is you, the ending. Like, I'm not. Like yeah, this. Like yeah, this is gonna be our messy okay. ending. Okay. <laughs> this okay. is the this most. Is the, <laughs> the first podcast with the most AIDS ending. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>